Master P is uh Master him and P, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Master P and Snoop Dogg is suing uh Walmart and um Post. yeah Post. They claim, and they don't claim because I saw the video. They had evidence that Walmart was intentionally not uh putting their items on the sales floor. So I saw a video last night where the gentleman walked up to one of the associates and asked them, did did they have this product? So the, the associate looked it up on the scanner and it said out of stock. He then asked the associate, could he go to the back and check for himself? Now that's what made me believe that was a skit because they don't go let you in the back. They're not just gonna let you randomly go to the back of the warehouse if you don't work there and check your check the items. Mm-hmm. But that leads me to believe the games that people are playing on social media, the shit is fucked up, dog. Like I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like when the man said they allowed me to just walk to the back and he went to the stock room. And no one checked him. No one stopped him. He just, he said, yeah, they gave me permission to go to the back. I mean, it's Walmart. I was, was <laughs> I mean, but still though, like. And he went and found it. He found multiple boxes. So how he just miraculously knew where it was well, at? He, most he, most and, warehouses, like the back of the stores are virtually the same. But I'm just saying, how did you know where they were sitting? Exactly. And what crate did you know that you just went and boom, this is it? It's a promotional, I honestly believe that this is a promotional uh, way to promote their mm-hmm. items. And this lawsuit shit is a bunch of bull. Because they got the, uh, the, big the, the, the big crump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When did this. M- <laughs> when did he come? <laughs> a civil yeah, suit lawyer. Like, I didn't just knew homicides and shit like that. My man said Snoop right. and Master P. Two oh, legends. No. After <laughs> doing that, me. he went on his page and posted a video saying, "Well, we we if you want to get access to this product, you need to click this link in my bio, and it will send you directly to the product where you can purchase." And that's not that's not exactly what he said, but that's what he was saying. Then a few posts later, I noticed that Master P now said. Man, we ain't got to worry about this product being in Walmart, man. We we got it right here on Amazon. <laughs> these niggas, My whole man, thing is these niggas, your man, product is the same as the knockoff brand product. You just put your name on it. I, that part. I mean, they got Snoopos or whatever. That's like... <laughs> Like, you, that's like the, with the Fruity Loops, the Fruityos, or something like that. My thing is, you announce that you want to, like, sue someone, <laughs> and then start going on a promotional tour to sell this item, this said item, at the same time that you're trying to sue people for not selling the item. Why can't you? Why you can't use it as free publicity? <laughs> stuff because, for real though... It could have been that somebody was intentionally holding it. And that lawsuit helped publicize that uh, that cereal because now we know more about it. Now people about to go in the stores and start asking about it and they have to put it out. Because them wrap snacks, they be wrapping and they got noodles. They got all types of stuff. So, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, why? I'm going to try that. But are you going to go in the store? No. (gasps) No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about her. Am I going to go? Yeah, okay. you gonna go get some Snoopos? Oh, I don't eat cereal like that, so that's not really about to be my jam. <laughs> you but want somebody some? will. Soon, them oh, boxes man. of cereals is gonna be in the free box you get from the church. Oh, jeez. When you get your canned chicken and your your box of macaroni and cheese that you put in the microwave. Not from the food bank. It's gonna be at the food bank <laughs> soon. Remember, he's <laughs> he's not doing it for them. He's doing it for us. So, uh, so it's free. us poor people are eventually going to get it for free in the boxes. When you go pick your food up, you're going to get that. I do want Snoop got ice cream. Snoop has I do want that because th- that was the munchy thought. <laughs> I want to try and I'm not a sweet person. So. <laughs> 
that's just how everybody was running to Walmart to get the little Debbie ice cream. And I was like, you would think with my fat ass, I'd be like, ooh, Lord Debbie. But I don't eat none of those. <laughs> so that wasn't something I was like, I don't need to go to the store and go get. But they was exce- like excited. Oatmeal pie. Um, I'm not getting no knockoff or nothing. Somebody swirls, rolls, swish rolls. I remember when I did used to have to get the free box from, from, from the church. Um. All that bullshit that was in there. I was like, man, this shit gonna kill us. Man, when I was younger, I used to love my grandparents. Used to get the cheese. Oh my gosh, that block of cheese made the best mac and cheese ever. I swear. And that drink, they had that drink forever. I'm in it for the open the doors for the people that don't have a voice, that don't have a chance, that's going to these big corporations looking for national distribution that don't have a change. That's what he said. But he said going to these big... Ain't Walmart a big chain? Yeah. Amazon <laughs> too. Hey, I'm just saying. It's a national corporation, right? That you trying to have your stuff sold at. Yeah. Amazon a big corporation. Yeah. Too. So... Um, you know, Snoop also had an opinion on this, too. What Snoop said? Snoop said this, right? He gonna give it out at the football games. Y'all lost. I got to try a trophy. <laughs> try this. One of these particular stores. All the brands I fuck with is you walk in, you see the motherfuckers like, whoop, 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 right in the front. But the brand I own, 100%, me and Master P, black owned, ain't nowhere to be found. You walk in the store, nowhere. People asking where it is. Somebody slide up in there with a video. Where's your cereal? Oh, it is stock. Nigga, bro, what's the you come back for the hat off? I work with Snoop Cereal. Can we go check in the back real quick? Oh, no problem. Mm. 15, 16 boxes. Oh, so it wasn't a random person. He said he worked for, for, for first Snoop of all, Cereal. That, Y'all ain't checked no ID or nothing? It wasn't 15 or 16 boxes. It was like eight boxes, and they all were out of date. <laughs> they, were, they were in that, that stock room since August. For them to be out of date, yeah. So why the hell did you wait? And it's eight like cases or eight individual boxes. In eight cases. Oh, oh shit! It wasn't pallets. That's big inventory for them. My, my man found. Say say this is the stock the little counter area where they they stock the boxes. That he found one box here, maybe two boxes here, like another two boxes in this other location, like. It wasn't. It wasn't as many boxes as they say it was. But that's still a lot for a small. And my thing with I with my only issue with Master P is I see how hard he going and he going so hard because he it's his, to, it's his. Well, he want to leave a legacy for his kids. And I get it, but you can't do business with your people. Why? Black people don't support black people. It's just not. It's just what we don't do. No dead ass serious. Like we don't support each other. To a degree, you're right. So, like, Walmart probably put that shit in the back because it just was collecting dust, and they had to they had to do something else with that section (laughs) because retails they flip they flip flip front faces and all that other shit. Every three months is a new season. They got to put something out there. Well, they could have put it out and discounted it like they do everything else. Oh, so what you saying is they could dis- they could have put it on a display right by the carts when you walk into Walmart? Huh? No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. Yeah. Halloween's coming up. Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving was coming up. New Year's Eve was coming up. Real season is coming up. It's cereal. It's shredded wheats and some. It's Snoop and Master P. Better yet, put it at the end of the aisle next to the freezer with the milk. Boom, sit it okay. right there. I'm glad y'all You know how that. they got the bread be sitting there mm-hmm. and, and stuff? And I want you to understand, I'm on the side of Snoop Dogg and Master P. I just had to give you the opinion from the naysayers. Now, what they did was, a part of their promotional tour, they went out and interviewed a white person. And the white person said, yeah, I went inside the Walmart looking for Snoop cereal because I wanted to buy some. I asked them, and they said, we ain't got no more. And I was on, I was like, I just was wondering, how could y'all be out of it? When I never saw it in the first place. 
which led me to believe they are pulling the same tricks. They starting to learn from the white people. That's what I'm getting. You know, Malta is best friend. <laughs> they are starting to learn from the white people. You know how they be trying to sell these dumbass car warranties on the internet and on the TV, and they put the dumbest fool on the per on the TV. They be like, man, yeah, I got that. Man, my engine died, and they covered it without any problem. Lies. I didn't have no issues. Lies. I got a rebuttal to that. Some old black lady said, fuck all them. <laughs> she said, it's a scam. And she said, I think they are uh, intentionally taking advantage of the elderly people. She's like, I don't give a fuck if they come after me for saying this. If they do, I'm going to sue their ass because they know what they did. So it's just a, it's a big, man, it's just a big game. And I'm glad he playing it. And I, I say all this to say, I'm glad he playing that game. I hope it work out for him too. The same way that it works out for the white people. Because at the end of the day, my argument last year, the year before we was fighting for equal equality, we don't want you to put us in the front. We don't need to be in the front. We just wanted to be fair. That's all. That was my whole point. You see what I did? You like that, didn't you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. You ain't got to. I'm back my damn self. I know I'm good. Well, I didn't know you would finish. I was going to interrupt. Yeah, I did that. You see how I brought that shit around? All we wanted to do was be fair and equal. The same manipulative practices that the whites use, we want to be able to have the opportunity to use them same practices to sell the same bullshit y'all selling to the world. Diabetes and fucking uh, obesity. Yes. What? What the fuck? That's dramatic, son. Man.